and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker locks. We have the new patch. Um, we got updated cards today. And one thing that was updated are these Mage Seeker cards. Um, Mage Seeker Persuader used to be a six drop. Now it's a two drop. You know, Mage Seeker Insider um, also updated. And so what we're going to do is put, put these two Mage Seeker cards also with Mage Seeker Conservator and uh, try them out. We're going to try them out with Lux. And so that's how our deck name is, of course, Mage Seeker Lux. So the Persuader, it's it's a two drop, two mana, three, two, that it gets plus one, plus one, and challenger once you've cost once you've cast a six plus cost spell this game. So we have to play a six mana spell, and then it's a two mana four three challenger. So it's a really good, really good rate. And then the insider gets plus two plus two. So we cast our six mana spell, and then this is a four mana six five. So very big, uh, very good rate as well. <clears throat> so we need six mana spells. We have Flash of Brilliance that creates a random six mana spell. Uh, the Conservator, whenever it dies, create a six mana spell. And then we have Remembrance and Unlicensed Innovation, which are six mana spells. These two in particular we want to have on turn three. Turn three, we want to play Remembrance or Unlicensed Innovation. So that's our six mana spell. And then we can curve that into turn four, playing the Mage Seeker Insider as a six five um, and so on. Or, you know, like play this Persuader on turn four plus something else like Mystic Shot or whatever. So that's that's our goal of our deck. So let's try out these brand new Mage Seekers. Here we go. So far we've dropped, we were at rank 70 to start the day. We've gone 10 and 10. So we've gone 500 and now we're at 658. Doesn't sound like the most fair ranking, <laughs> but oh well. Elva says that you got sm smorked by Mage Seekers a few times after turn three remembrances. Okay, yeah, we'll see. We'll see kind of how powerful they are. You're liking these new changes, Varchow? You're liking this this patch? <clears throat> yeah, I like. Yeah, I mean, I've liked it so far. Like this patch so far but we need to find a match <laughs> yeah it's, it's comparing the scores to yesterday yeah that is really nice yeah the meta changes kind of every month without needing yeah, without needing to spend a fortune and, and brand new cards and everything. That is really nice. With having these patch updates. And it's not like it's not like the it's not like you have cards just suddenly turn unplayable kind of thing. Um I'm keeping thermogenic beam. We're gonna get rid of the rest of these. Looking for one of our six mana spells. I just have the one progress day in here. Um, you know, like, like Hecarim, for example. Hecarim is still quite good, and I think still very playable. Nothing escapes my notice. I don't think I really need to Track them kill down. that thing. Come closer. I don't bite.
Not exactly sure what I want to do. I'm gonna kill the frenzied skitter. I wanted to use the three mana because we can only bank three mana, so you know that other three mana would have been wasted. That does make my conservators better. Oh, the sweet smell of science. Ouch. Never mind, that makes them worse. Possible this is just too greedy keeping this progress day. So we can cast progress day and then we'll have two mana left. We really want to hit Mystic Shot. There's Mystic Shot. So that's, that's the thing about Iceborne Legacy now it's slow speed. Probably not nearly as good now. But yeah, like we we're gonna be trying that later on. Also, like this this next deck that we're gonna be plays, kind of like what my opponent's doing here, Iceborne Spiders. Yeah, not sure how playable it is anymore. Yeah, same thing. Um... They are talking about how like they're trying to make it more powerful, but I feel like they made it less powerful, turning it into a slow spell. So they have to target the one one. Like that like that card it would turn all it would give all their spiderlings plus two plus two. Like targeting the frenzied skitter, all they do is give all their frenzied skitters plus two plus two. Right? Yeah, because it's the same name. Yeah, so like... So... That card can still kill me. They have atrocity. I'm dead. That's what this game's about. Do they have atrocity or not? Groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Oh, 
guess I should have just cast this before, but... They need atrocity or they're dead. They have atrocity. So I'm dead. Right? I mean, I might as well just cast this to see what happens. Our best hit would have been Vengeance. The cost so much. Oh, well, I guess. No, because we. That just. Flash of Brilliance only gives you cards from your region, Is that right? Like the regions that you're playing. So we couldn't hit, like, Grat. We couldn't hit. Like, we can't even hit Vengeance. <laughs> yeah, War Mother's Call was a random. Yeah, we obviously don't have War Mother's Call in our deck. We're at PNZ Demacia attack. That was a random card that we got from the one drop dying. Yeah, haven't, you know, we've only played, you know, so we just played the one game. Didn't really do anything with the Mage Seekers yet. Sure is dark, eh? This is going to be just a crazy Heimerdinger game. There. Got an ephemeral deck with Zed Glista. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. That's pretty good. Cause zero mana. That was a good turn two for them. So like can, can we we can only get random six plus spells from Demacia and PNZ, is that correct? Pledge yourself to the shadow. The order. It's really unfortunate that we have to waste all of our mana. We don't get to Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance, and all that kind of stuff now. But we, you, we just gotta kill Zed. No, I didn't really consider Vanguard Sergeant, but that yeah, that could be a good one. You know, you get a four Demacia in hand. I 
I could see doing that. The thing about unlicensed is unlicensed. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Yeah, the thing about unlicensed innovation is that you get to play unlicensed innovation right away on turn three. You know, it can be, you can get that six mana, play it right away on turn three, and then, you know, be able to play Mage Seeker Insider on turn four, or even the Challenger one on turn four. Um, usually, like, before before these Mage Seeker cards, I wouldn't play that, I wouldn't play that card at all, unlicensed innovation. I, you know, because, yeah, it is pretty weak, but... Um, but I think it's just real important to have that six mana spell early and have it as early as possible. And, and so playing, um, That might end up being good that that Withering Whale is out of their hand. Because Withering Whale would have killed all of my turrets. Trying to keep Zed out of here. Alright, hopefully we can stay alive. That was a good draw. Discard this reinforcements. When I call, the Iron Order answers. Hmm, they don't have any ephemeral allies right now. I will keep us safe. Alright, so we'll have you block there. And then... Alright, 
guess I can cast this thing. Keep one of these turrets alive. Really sad if they just draw atrocity that kills me. That'd be really sad. Heimerdinger pulls ahead yet again. Good job, Heimerdinger. Thanks, Elvis. Yeah, that was a good comeback. Choose cards to replace. Fortunately, back to back. Not a six mana spell we can cast right away. Hey, got another sub. We got Peaceful Divine getting the gifted the sub. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity. Peaceful, you are now part of the sub club. You can get those hype boats out now. Them down. Search them. And so is Elvis Superstar. We see through all. In our third sub of the day. Fear beyond. We got a lot of expensive stuff right now. Because I played that one drop earlier, yeah, I don't have the ability to play the six drop on turn three so we just wasted a whole lot of mana unfortunately um magic has no place here denounce magic Hmm. Strike down the corrupted. We have too many expensive spells in hand. Blessed by snow and stars. Too many expensive spells in hand. And Heimerdinger can save us, but our hand looks this would be a good very bad. 
my snow and stars. Imminently logical. This hand looks really bad. Breaking invention to date. <laughs> my way to get the most creatures. Okay, yep. So is that turn three that really killed us? I mean, I guess I just should not have played the Mage Seeker turn one. You know, it's just kind of instinctual, like, oh, you know, play our Mage Seeker turn one. But that, that just really cost me, because then I didn't have... Because um, then I didn't have six mana to be able to play the Remembrance on turn three, and then my turn four, and then because of that, my my turn four creature was only a, a four three instead of a six five, um, and yeah, that that just ended up all that ended up costing me. So le lesson learned about that, about playing the one drop. You know, we don't want to play the one drop right away if we can, if we think we're going to be able to play the six mana spell on turn three. That one cost me. We don't need those inciters until we find the six mana spell. <laughs> yeah, a couple of five fives. Both of our both of our decks felt better than five fives, honestly. We felt pretty unfortunate to get to five five with both decks, but um, more so the first deck than the second deck. The first deck was better. The losses that we had were were really close. All right, we got the five five this time. Light as air. Their guilt is evident. I think Lux is safe. 
So basically, you know, time walked us. They get to net two mana. Because then our next turn is nothing but playing Lux again. The order rewards its faithful. The sun is shining. We should too. Let none disturb my meditation. I need no weapon. Okay, nine mana. What should we start with? Gonna try to just do one damage each of these. Fair enough. That is six mana spent, so we get to level up Lux, get that final spark. Spent zero mana so far. Just five. Played for in the closed beta, start open beta day one. Nice, peaceful. Try to kill these things eventually. No more holding back. Stand back. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? I got the kids. What you looking for? Steal over sorcery. Illuminate the enemy. You cannot escape. 
I guess this makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense for a block. Save me, Just jump block with everything so then I don't get to use Final Spark. That makes sense. Should have just cast it. And Mage Seeker Persuader costing one, Conservator costing zero. Those are pretty good. Demacia's nothing like what I know. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. All right, gonna go straight to attacks. Try to attack with all this stuff. Magic. We have a barrier for protection. We have a mystic shot to do extra damage. Back to 500. Exactly where we should be. <laughs> we got 500 Tuesdays. So this looks like... Um... There we go, there's close to Dawn Speakers. Looks like elusives. Yeah, usually against the, the elusive deck, the static shock's really good. So I kept that, kept the thermogenic beam just in case we needed it. Necrolepsy! Getting that tier one so continuing on 13 awesome months. Thank you so much there, Necrolepsy. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I'm glad to have you here, Necolepsy. They picked the wrong row. Um, no, I'm not gonna cast that. Get me if you can. Hey, Alp. Alp the Gazi. Hello. We had exactly six mana on turn four. Perfect amount of mana. Everyone here? Let's go.
So best case scenario, we play Heimerdinger and Heimerdinger doesn't die. And then we get to untap, play like these Flash of Brilliances, make some three ones, play like a Get Excited and a Thermogenic Beam. The order rewards its faithful. I don't think they're gonna have anything that kills Heimerdinger with three mana like that. That's not really what their deck's all about. I will play my part. Just trade and save the room on the battlefield for some new new creatures. Hey, Vanguard Sergeant, that's good. Are we worried about? True Shot Barrage is awesome. I'm one mana short from playing it, but it's awesome. So I do worry about the number of cards in hand. It's gonna have me level up Heimerdinger. And <laughs> Mega Seekers. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the, the new Mage Seekers is working out working out pretty well. You know, like we're you know, we're two and two, but lost one of them we lost was real close. Could have gone either way. Seven mana. That's true shot barrage mana. And what do you get? We get like a barrier. Yuck. They're pumping up something really big. They've used Jewel Protector twice. Worst case scenario, it's Zed. Like them pumping up a Zed would be worst case scenario. About just doubling the power and toughness of this storm lobber make this a 12 to overwhelm i eh, probably just don't need to do that you have no alibi. i don't want their omen hawk to trade with my storm lobber and even storm lobbers get full art <laughs> look at look at little Heimerdinger. You cannot escape. <laughs> well. <laughs> just, they just have Heimerdinger look crazy in all these. <laughs> Uh, the deck's doing okay so far. You know, like, we're two and two. Um, it hasn't... 
It's not playing, you know, perfectly. It's been okay. Notice the dial in the bottom left. Is that this one? Uh... It is Zed. No, that was our worst case scenario. It was them pumping up Zed. Okay, it's a, it's an all of them until it breaks. Okay, that dial, the dial just keeps keeps going up and up. So you know we go over to like this one, and yeah, okay, so the dial keeps going up. <laughs> Got chubby cheeks, Heimerdinger there. And then here it breaks. Oh no, there it breaks. Uh, if I play Lux, I only have three mana left. It's fine. Let the light guide you. Justice. I can't really imagine any way that we lose this. They have to have like Will of Ionia for this overwhelm. They really should flip these two, even if they, unless they do. Yeah, they they just don't realize that thing's overwhelm. Yeah, they they didn't realize that thing was overwhelm. I guess. Oh no, we're not 500 anymore. Hey, Lime. Lime's Tone. Yeah, we got Heimer Lux with all the new Mage Seekers. And trying out those new Mage Seekers. They've been okay. They've been okay. Our hand has been uh, getting clogged with six with maybe too many six mana plus spells. Limestone. Okay. Limestone. It's a pretty good stone. As far as stones go, the limestone. <laughs> Take a look at this. A lime is is a lime the only fruit that gets a stone? Nothing escapes. There's not like an orange stone or an apple stone or a banana stone. That's the the one drop, two drop that you dream about being able to attack on turn two and opponent plays a one drop. That's just like the dream setting. Played the lemon stone, stone fruit.
Key limestone. Push back the darkness. Get out of here, Lucian. Out of here, Zed. All right, so casting this unlicensed innovation will unlock. Our mage seekers. Soldiers, me. Their guilt is evident. My shield is yours. Stand in. You have no alibi. Gross. So I'm probably just going to harsh winds. Stone in an archway was made from limestone. And we'd have our key, li key limestone. I will keep us safe. A Demacian soldier is worth tenfold. Flavor and spice. There's a chill in the air. Dang, stop. Eleven mana. Courage, soldier. Contain the arcane. So I'm not quite taking lethal. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Oh wait. No, because I just I have to block that. No sympathy for sorcery. And then block two of these things. Magic stops with me.
way off. Does this mean they get to attack first? They're casting that during combat. Darn it, I need to play True Shot Barrage first. Won't get away. Please give me a chance. They just they just played something. No, give it no, give me priority. Oh no no no, I meant to Oh, it doesn't matter if I block or not. What do we got in Heimerdinger? Yeah, that's all you do in the attack step. So I guess I need to do that. Yeah, so I, I mistimed my true shot barrage. Need to play that first. The reason why I didn't do it first is because I was thinking that if if they just don't block, then they go down to three, then I can do the, the three damage to them with the true shot barrage. That's what I was thinking. Is that it could have been... You know, it could have been great if they if they just don't block. Yeah, playing Liquid Hype tier. We, I I play against Liquid Hype quite a bit. I think they play a lot during the same time I do. I've had a lot of streamer battles today. Well, probably a lot of other streamers playing with the, the update, the patch update today. Hey, what's up, Tank? <clears throat> so it looks like we're just gonna have a staring contest for a little bit. Oh, I should I should play that remembrance. I walk my Well, now it's not going to get denied, so that's good. 5-5 five, five, tough. 5-5 five, five, tough. 5-5 five, five, tough. That's one tough 5-5. Five, five. Played around deny. I was doing that the whole time. A lot of mystic shots. Tread lightly, strike hard. Do your worst. I'll take that. That's not a get excited killing my Heimerdinger. That's good. Ooh, now we drew a barrier for Heimerdinger. Also good. Waits for no one. I go ways to find mushrooms. Got ways to find me mushrooms.
If I must. All right, we're gonna have Lux. We can do this. We can do this. I think you're right, Lux. I think we can do this. Just hanging out in a forest. Time walk. Let the light guide you. Yeah. Hanging out in the forest. I'll do what must it's basically be like, there's not that much going on over here. Let's start. Let's start just wrecking stuff. Wait, I have 11 mana? Uh, maybe should get rid of like the barrage or the innovation instead of the static shock. Maybe even this like innovation. Stand back. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? I could definitely see us dying to these Yones. Magic stops with me. I could definitely see us dying here. Basically, if they have another six damage of burn spells, I'm dead. We've they've played one. Get excited so far. That's fine.
So at least that's that's one less damage of burn straight to me that I'm not taking. I got the kids. Flip time redinger. damage in hand. Can't cast it all right now, but... Where there is life, there I assume is that's me dying. Because, you know, just like one burn spell now kills me. So I assume that's just me dying. Uh, it gets cast right away. I was hoping... I was hoping maybe it just, like, cast the one and then I'd be able to respond and it wouldn't do the second one immediately. Yeah, that's me dying. Alright, we'll get this next one, get back to 500. Yep, that's true. Gave it a good shot. Ooh, okay. This is a real interesting hand. We actually get to really see the power of the Mage Seekers if they are, you know, good enough. We really get to see that with this hand where we have, um, you know, Remembrance on turn three and then we can start playing the Inciters. Uh, definitely do not want to get denied. That would be bad. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I need this deck to finish uh, five and five as well. We don't really have any reason not to block. I mean, sure, they could use whatever spell to kill this, but if I was going to just challenger that the next turn anyway, I mean, I, I do have these static shocks that can kill it. Contain the arcane. Oh, that card's so tough. All right, four and four.
Four and four. <sighs> We're not probably not going to win two in a row or lose two in a row, right? Uh, the pressure's kind of on, though, to finish five and five. It's like, what if I win this? Then it's going to be like, oh, no. I'm not keeping this, but I could definitely see keeping these. Hope oh, thermogenic beam's good. This has worked out. <clears throat> yeah, their hand is awful. Okay, we're five and four. Can we do it? Can we get above 500? Like right now we're currently over 500, right? We've, we've won 15, we've lost 14. We started today ranked 79th. We are now ranked 591, and we have won more than we've lost. Dude, yeah, that I'm yeah, that unlicensed innovation is seriously good. I have really underrated that card. Like, I haven't really played that card before today. I actually just crafted them today for this deck. But we just played it on turn three and our opponent conceded. Like it won the game. I really should have been playing more of that card. It just wins the game on turn three. That seems pretty strong. and contain. Time to get my hands dirty. <clears throat> we're playing Poro Aggro. Here, we're just going to play a couple of Poros and attack with them. Let recite protect me. That's my strat. Poro Aggro. Oh no, their strat's so much better. Search them. Oh wait, now this thing costs five, and so it, I don't get I don't trigger these. Huh. I'm still going to play it. I'm going to hopefully get the 5-5 five, five tough. No. Not 5-5 five, five, tough. Will you comply? Or are you complicit? Control the mages. Keep the peace. Oh, right. Wait. I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, I'll play this now, and then I'll just back to back and trigger it, but we only have the five mana. That didn't work. I wanted to wait to play this so it didn't die to Mystic Shot, but obviously I. And ended up not waiting. I thought that I could untap and play this and then wouldn't die to Mystic Shot. Hey, <laughs> we're really going for that 5 and 5 score. No Ugh, these investigators, they're creating all these detains. Magic is insidious. So we stay vigilant.
Sovereign Justice. Put an end to magic. Go no farther. Mm -hmm. Halt! Chains of the curse! <laughs> back to back, Jack. They can still detain stuff, if they feel like it. No, they hit a back-to-back. -back. All right, we'll, we'll just trade everything. That's, that's just fine with me. Ooh, Battle Fury. Do you get a tough Battle Fury creature? Oh, wait, they have these detains. Never mind. Battle Fury, not good. Change my mind. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Wow. Even Lux is bragging over here. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Or maybe she's like. Or maybe that's like a bad thing. Talking to like her, I don't know, psychiatrist. Like, Doc, everywhere I go, the light just follows. You gotta help me. Gotta help me, the light just follows everywhere I go. Pushing my limit. A beacon through the dark. Okay, let's see. kind of don't like this how you know like we get our lux back but then they get to final spark the lux but it's just worth oh yeah never mind lux gets the barrier to start with i was gonna say okay yeah it's still just worth it i 
That's good. So they got eight cards. I got six, Everywhere but I, go. I have a Lux. The light follows. They also have a Lux. Oh, I didn't attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all are right. I, I could have attacked with my 4-5 last turn. Yeah, good call. For Demacia. So I could get excited them and then use the final spark to kill Lux, but if they have another barrier, that will be bad. I'll just discard this for Demacia. And so in case of another barrier... Go on, make the 5-4. No, not the top 5-5. Five, five. It's too tough. Want to just play the 6-mana spell first to trigger Lux. All right, they they're probably just going to detain Lux, aren't they? Oh, I need two more mana. Three more mana. I need three more mana. <laughs> Okay, well, they only have a detain and one other card, and we got all these. Progress day. Let the light guide you. Can every day be progress day? Two mana lux is pretty nice. Oh, because the Lux just costs less. Dang. So many progress days back and forth. They're at 15 cards, I'm at 20. So they've drawn an extra five cards. Answers. I have them.
Yeah, we got the Mage Seeker mirror match. That just netted them a mana. Uh -oh. I have not drawn a Heimerdinger yet. Right? Yeah, no, I haven't drawn a Heimerdinger yet. I've drawn a lot of Luxes. I was hoping for the two mana Mage Seeker that would have um, Challenger be able to take out the Heimerdinger. Or at least attempt to. Is that barrier zero mana or something? Or no, no, this thing was zero mana. Okay. No, it was two mana. Yeah, this has been a crazy game. Just back and forth. All these cards drawn. No one belongs in pain. Out for Lux too. Oh wait, it's good for them to have their Lux die, their Lux die, because then they get Heimerdinger. Right. Stand back. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? to hopefully kill them now. We got four mana. Nope, not killing them yet. Out 
magic. Shine with me. So close. Got them down to four. And if I kill locks, they get Heimerdinger back. So that's not great. Magic corrupts Demacia from within. Your Demacia is nothing like what I know. Glory of Demacia! My cause is you have no alibi! In the name of our land! Yeah, this game's still going. I honestly wasn't sure if it was even worth it to kill the Lux, give him like the Heimerdinger. I wasn't sure if that was even if that was good. If I didn't, they would have had. They would have gotten a final spark. In judgment, you can't outrun justice. <clears throat> We're so close, though. Magic stops with me. Gonna do that right now so we get the T Hex while Heimerdinger is still in play. And now we're gonna have this 14 power overwhelm creature. <laughs> Hopefully that helps out. I can Mystic Shot the their T Hex if need be. Or I can Mystic Shot them. Oh, 
Um, I'm at 11 cards left. They are at 8 cards left. Sweet, opponent surrendered, couldn't handle the 14 power, overwhelm. I mean, that was like a 30 minute game. No, I, basically we don't really need to go straight to attacks because, um, because they already, like their battlefield was completely filled. I don't think, like, they could have had some kind of slow sp speed spell that would have punished me, but... Yeah, rip the 5-5. Five five. But by playing... By playing Heimerdinger first... I had 13 mana, everything in hand cost 13, so by playing Heimerdinger, then I got to play the Unlicensed Innovation also, which then got me another 6 power... Um, another six power overwhelm creature that i would have also been able to play so i would have been able to just and it would have been able to fill my battlefield and get an extra five five and another six one overwhelm and then go to combat static actually did feel pretty good in those games but i have played static plenty and it not be good but we actually we just ended up with games where static was good for us um but yeah i'm playing two i wouldn't want to play three it's very hit or miss. There's a lot of games where it's not very good, for sure. At a lot of times where it's not. Um, if you have something else you want to play instead, I'm I would be okay with that. I think that is a, I think it is kind of an overrated card in general. I think it's it's a lot better w with Ezreal when you need to target the enemies. But yeah. Um, okay, you actually run three progress day. I think that's probably too many progress days. Um, that's one thing that I did notice that a lot, like some of the games that we were losing, we just had too many expensive spells, you know, with the six drops, the progress days, the, you know, Mage Seekers getting six drops, Flash of Brilliance getting six plus mana cards. You can get, you can end up getting a whole lot of expensive spells in hand. Um, and that can be problematic. So I, I think three progress days is too many progress day. Um, do I feel the conservator is good? Uh, slightly. I'm not upset with the conservator. It is, there is t tension. If you have the games like where you're going to be playing Remembrance or Unlicensed Innovation on turn three, you don't want to play Conservator on turn one. I actually, I like one of my losses was because I played Conservator on turn one. <clears throat> and then my turn three, I had five mana and I couldn't do anything. And all my cards cost like six plus in hand. And I just couldn't play anything else. Um, and that really hurt. But it is a really good blocker against the aggro decks. It does help you keep alive or it does help you stay alive against the aggro decks. Um, just even that last game, it was pretty good. Uh, being, you know, just being a, uh, um, even like against control, like it's going to die and you get that extra spells. So it does kind of turn into a little bit of card advantage. I would be fine not playing three conservator. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm okay with it, and I I was I was happy with it. It's not like I it's not like I didn't like it at all. It, I was happy with it. The investigator looked pretty decent. Also, another option. But there we go. Pretty good deck here. <clears throat> all right, so that's Mage Seeker Lux. So those of y'all watching on YouTube. Uh, please hit the, that like button over there, and please leave those comments. Those likes and comments really do go a long way. Um, so if you got some, t uh, if you can do that, uh, I'd appreciate it. You know, comments. You know, feel free to to let me know what you think of the deck, uh, what you think of Conservator, Progress Day, uh, Static Shock. You know, that kind of stuff. Those cards that we were just talking about. Um, if you're playing it yourself, let me know how it's going. How what? How are you doing? Um, are you struggling against anything? All that kind of stuff. 
All right, but thank you so much for watching some Mage Seeker Lux, and I will see you for the next video.